guys, Pete from Pete's Tools, another beautiful day to be alive, wouldn't be dead for a million dollars today. Anyway, not much future being dead, is there guys? Your air supply for your plasma cutter doing this. Yeah, well, I've got a couple of little tips that might just help you out if you've got a little bit of uh, condensation in your air supply. So, uh, same as usual guys, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, let's get rid of this water! So I don't know if you guys are anything like me, in the winter time in New Zealand the air gets quite damp and uh, I found with the spray painting, well I do a lot of spray painting in that as well, that uh, you're getting globules of water on that coming out of there because uh, I've just got one of those little little um, water separators on my, on my compressor. So uh, what I uh, ended up doing guys was just buying one of these little inline filters here, they're cheap, about 10 bucks or something stupid, and they screw into your gun like so, mind you it's upside down obviously, but um, screw into your gun like so, and then your ear goes in there, and then uh, you've not only got the one from the compressor, you've also got one at your gun. And I found out it, it eliminated probably, I don't know, 80% of the problem. So I thought, well, why can't I, I get the same sort of system and do it on my plasma cutter? So uh, this is what I did, guys. So on my airline, I'm running fittings like this. Uh, I think you guys in the States run something similar. It might be a little bit different, but the principle's exactly the same. You can do exactly the same thing. So what I wanted to basically do was be able to put this in this line here before it um, goes into my air compressor or maybe even after it comes out it just doesn't really matter either way just so I've got a double a double bloody water trap so that I don't get the spits and the things it's alright in the middle of summer here and it'll be real good in Arizona and that if you live somewhere dry but um, in the middle of winter here we get it like I say we get it quite damp and so we just need something a little bit extra you know what I mean so uh, I tried doing this anyway so this is what I did so I just basically got the uh, male end of uh, my ear line and a female end of my ear line and we just um, put them together. Just um, put them together like so. Just tighten them up. We'll put thread seal tape on it of course but we're not doing that here. It's just, you know, you get the general gist of the idea. And then put uh, that end in there like so. Basically what we've got here is when I plug my ear line into, into this end of it like so and then this end here has got the same connection as this this can plug into the uh, side of my plasma cutter and then we can double up on our um, filtering out the water anyway so uh, I thought well, this might be a little bit constricted but anyway we'll have a go and uh, I'll show you what happened so we'll cut a lump of plate and I'll just show you it doesn't restrict the airflow or anything so, uh, well, we'll go there or we'll cut it across there Leave a cool ruler there if you want to make one of these rulers just check up the top there and I've got another video on how to make one of these and actually I've got another video as well on how to make a bigger one if you need a bigger one or something like that you know just uh, check up there and there's all sorts of videos on uh, how to make these rulers and other bits and pieces so anyway let's go and just cut this off and make sure that we're not losing any air a dry martini. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! When you're more of a beer man myself, that martini shit uh, gives you headaches. But anyway guys, that's uh, just a little tip for a little inline, um, little inline air dryer for you. So there's the back of my plasma cutter guys, back of my cut 40. So there you got your adjustment here for, for how much you want to, how much pressure you want to go through your airline into your torch. It's standard. Here we have my little water trap here that uh, catches a little bit of water but it, you know it doesn't catch all of it. And uh, so we have my contraption there that I made. So I just put that in the ear line like that. And then I just plug the other end of the ear lead into here like that. So what it does is probably catches another 60% of what I lose out of here. And it just makes it all that little bit different. You know what I mean? So you, in the middle of winter when you're not getting all the spits coming out of your gun and that sort of thing, it just cleans up the ear a little bit more. And when you want to drain it, it has the drain here. So just uh, you machine up like that and just push the button there to, to drain it out of course but it's uh, pretty simple and it works and it uh, probably cost you 10 bucks to do it and uh, not only that this thing has a lot of other uses as well which I'll show you so guys it's a real good thing to have in your ear line eh? it just takes that little bit of extra moisture out of your ear and you might not run into so much trouble like if you're outside and, you, and you're using like your big nail gun or something like that you know just uh, plug it in and plug your ear line in there and away you go Bob's your wombat you know 
And uh, yeah, so if you want to know any more about these nail guns and that, I'll put some links down below. I've done some videos on nail guns and that sort of thing as well. Or you're using your air sander, you know, you just plug them in and away you go. No worries at all. Keep all that nasty wet air out of your friggin' sanding. Or you're doing some DIY picture framing. Same thing. Just whack the thing in, you know. And uh, no worries at all. Keep that nasty water out of your ear because it sucks. It really does. And uh, if you want to know any more about these tools that I'm showing you, just check the uh, description down below, guys. And I've got some... Um, videos about them too. Yeah. Anyway guys, that's about it from me. That's the useless tip for the day. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and we'll see you next time. Bye.